Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is March 31st, 2020. I will create a series of videos about the programming language C++20 standard. This is our Jeros episode. We will install Microsoft Visual Studio 2019, Visual Studio Code, GNU G++, Clang++, Intel TVB on Windows. We need to take 7 steps. We will update our operating system on Windows 10. We will install Notepad++ and 7-zip. We will install latest version of Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. We will install Visual Studio Code. We will install MCS2. We will install GNU G++, Clang++. We will install Intel Threading Blocks 2020 Update 1. Then we will make environment variable settings. It can be a little bit challenging, but if you successfully follow my videos and set up your machine properly, then in future episodes, we will learn the programming language C++20 standard. Right click, search, update, check for update, click download. Then the download begins. When you see Restart Now button, please double click this button to restart your machine. This session continues after restarting my machine. I just restarted my machine. Right click, search, update, check for updates. Click check for updates. Please be patient. Click download and install. Please be patient while downloading. When the start now button is displayed, please double click this button. This session continues after restarting my machine. I just restarted my machine. Right click, search, update, check for updates, check for updates. Please be patient while downloading. When the Start Now button shows up, double click it to restart your machine. This session continues after restarting my machine. I just restarted my machine. Right click, search, update, check for updates. Check for updates. When you see you are up to date, you successfully updated your operating system. Now close it. Now we will install Notepad++ and 7-zip. Please double click this link. Click latest release. Scroll down. If you are using Windows 64-bit, you can double click installer. Show in folder. Double click it. Click OK. Click Next. I agree. Next. Next. Install. I will close it. Retry. Finish. We just installed Notepad++. Now 7-Zip. Double click this link. In this web page, this is Redis version. This is for 64 bit. Download. Show in folder. Double click it. Yes. Install. Close. We now installed 7 z Now we will install Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. Please double click visualstudio.microsoft.com. This link. Click this button, Community 2019. I will close it. Show in folder. Double click it. Yes. Continue. In the workload, select Desktop Development with C++ this checkbox. In the option, scroll down. If you are using MFC, 
please select this checkbox. MFC for latest B14 to build tools. Also C++ CLI. This tool is also useful if you are programming .NET framework using Visual C++. We will also select modules. Please select C++ modules. We will also select Windows SDK 10, this version. I will also select .NET Desktop Development, .NET Framework 4.8, 4.62, 7.1. Please understand that we can select these tools later. Click Install. Select Not Now. Depending on your internet connection, it will take some time, so please be patient. If you do not have Microsoft account, I highly recommend you create one by clicking this link. Registration is free, so create Microsoft account and sign in. But in this episode, I will just click not now, maybe later. Click this link. Select Visual C++. I will select Dark Theme. Start Visual Studio. Continue without code. We just started Visual Studio. Community Edition 2019 version 16.5.1. Click OK. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Click Start button. Scroll down. Visual Studio 2019 New. Right click. More. Pin to Taskbar. This is Visual Studio 19 icon. Click it. Continue without code. Go to Tools. Option, Environment, scroll down, Startup, on Startup open, Empty Environment, click OK. If you want to add or remove features for Visual Studio, go to Tools, Get Tools and Feature, click Yes, Modifying Visual Studio Community, in this window, by clicking Individual Component, you can select or unselect features of Visual Studio. Then you can click Modify. Now close it. Now close it. If you restart Visual Studio, it runs like this. Now I highly recommend you to reboot your machine because we just installed Visual Studio. I will restart my machine. I just restarted my machine. Now we install Visual Studio code. Please double click visualstudio.microsoft.com. Double click this link. Download Visual Studio code. Windows 64. Click this button. Show in folder. Double click it. I accept the agreement. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Create a desktop icon. Click Next. Install. Click Finish. Maximize it. I will close this. Click this button. Click Extension. C++ IntelliSense. Click this button. This is from Microsoft. Install. We just installed Microsoft C++ IntelliSense. File. Click Auto Save. File. Preference. Settings. Auto Save. Auto save on focus change file now exit in the desktop Visual Studio Code icon is created. 
drag and drop to your taskbar. Now click once again. It starts like this. We close it. Close once again. Start. It will start like this. Close it. Now we install MCS2. Please double click this link. This is for 64 bit version. Please double click it. Start File Explorer. C Drive. New folder. DEV. Soft. Double click it. New folder. MCS2. Hit Enter. Show in folder. Double click it. Next. Right click. Rename. MCS64. Hit Enter. Browse. C Drive. DEV Soft. MC64. Select this folder. Select folder. Click next. Next. Click finish. Pacman dash S Y U. Hit enter. Hit enter. When you see this message, terminate MC2 without returning to shell and check for updates again. For example, close your terminal window instead of calling exit. If you see this message, close this button. In this warning message, click OK. Double click this folder. Scroll down. WinGW64. Right click. Create shortcut. Drag and drop on your desktop. Right click. Rename. This is shortcut. Double click it. Pacman SU. Hit enter. Hit enter. Please be patient. It will take some time depending on your internet connection. Copy this text. Copy. Paste. Hit enter. Hit enter. Hit enter. Depending on your internet connection, it will take some time, so please be patient. Now we install the GNU G++. G++ version hit enter. G++ 9.3.0 is installed. Now we are installing Clang. Copy this text. Copy. Paste. Hit enter. 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 Clang plus plus version. Now we install the Clang plus plus version 9.0.1. We will install Intel TBB, Pacman, SS, TBB. Hit enter. Copy this text 64 bit. Right click. Copy. Pacman. S paste hit enter enter now we installed Intel TBB Pacman SS GMP hit enter GMP 64 bit is installed now exit hit enter we have to set environment variables. MCS2 
user bin copy right click search environ edit system environment variables environment variables path edit new paste new browse system dev soft minji w64 bin click ok please understand that the order matters put user bin above minji w64 bin if you want to change the order you can change order like this please put user bin before minji w64 like this click ok click ok click ok now we close it we will install threading building blocks 2020 update 1 please double click this link from this website tbb 2020.2 win please double click this link when download is complete click show in folder right click unzip it copy the folder copy c drive dev soft paste it here double click this folder tbb bin copy this path copy right click search environ edit system environment variables environment variables path edit new paste click ok new include browse directory this pc system c deb soft tbb tbb include click ok copy the path copy click ok new paste tbb dir click ok new tbb x64 lib browse directory this pc system deb soft tbb tbb lib intel pc 14 click ok click ok new tbb x86 lib click browse this pc system dev soft tbb tbb lib ia32 pc14 click ok click ok so we defined include and the path we added these variables click ok we defined tbb dir tbb x64 lib tbb 86 lib click ok click ok in future episode we will learn the programming language c++ 20 standard please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching